GT Dave, the founder, who I guess founded this company 25 years ago, says, in 1995, I began bottling kombucha as a teenager in my parents' kitchen after witnessing my mother consume it religiously during her battle with breast cancer. Her experience inspired my purpose to introduce the sacred brew to the, U to the U.S. in its purest, most potent form for all those seeking better health. Over two decades later, my mission remains stronger than ever to offer the best kombucha you can find. Well, if you needed another reason, as if I needed another reason to love GTs, I know these are kind of comical videos and I'm not really a kombucha expert, but I think that's a nice message. Guava goddess, sorry about the glare. I'd let down the blinds, but I don't like to. Guava goddess, I'm excited about this one. Got some good remarks on this one. Swirl gently. Uh, ingredients, GT's kombucha, which is kombucha culture, black tea, green tea, and kiwi juice. Guava puree and 100% pure love, swirling gently. Come on. Oh, nice. This is the first one in a long time that we've had it. I'm going to try to stay out of the glare where it hasn't bubbled over. Really, really nice color. If you could get that, it's kind of like peach, orange, red, red, orange, orange, red. Strong kombucha scent, strong guava scent as well. Really pleasant, really pleasant aromatics. Very pleasant. I'm in a good mood, so maybe it's more pleasant than it would normally be, but boy, it smells good. I need to water that plant. I digress. Oh my God. How many grams of sugar in this thing? 16, it's under the 20. 20 is like kind of my cutoff um, for something I want to consume on a regular basis. 16 is good. This, um, this is outstanding. This is outstanding. <clears throat> Very flavorful not overly sweet, very potent, delicious, elegant. Um, I forget my list. I think Trilogy was on top. And then I think I went original and then Euphoria, and then I think I put the Spring Berry one. I am going to, I'm going to put, boy, this is hard. No, it's easy. Trilogy, Original, Guava Goddess, Euphoria, Berry one, Spring Berry one. Um, that's my top five as it currently stands. This is incredible. The only reason, now I gotta check the sugar uh, content of GT's original, but the only reason I give original the edge over this for now is because original for me had a more, I think it aired on the stronger kombucha side and a little bit less sweet, but I might be misremembering that. That's a personal thing. I don't drink a lot of sweet stuff. So take that for what it's worth. This is delicious. It's not overly sweet. It's got a tartness to it and it's full. It's a full flavor, very potent flavor. The guava is really, really works um, with the kombucha flavor. This is great. I can't say enough good things about this. I'm really blown away.
I didn't know really what to expect from this. I thought it could have been a little fruity and sweet for me, but how has GT's kombucha changed your life? Tell us your story at 25th at drinkgts.com. So they're doing a 25th anniversary thing. Wow, what this flavor has existed. I've been out of the loop, man. This has existed since I was in high school. Guava got godness. Goddess? History of guava godness. I believe, unless I'm mistaken, that this label has a typo. Can you see that it says there guava godness? And I didn't know if it was like a pun, like a some kind of pun or like for goodness plus goddess. It says G O D D N E S S godness. Maybe that was intentional. I mean, here it says goddess, guava goddess. Here it says godness. Whatever. I love GTs. Who's this guy? GT Dave. I'd love to meet God, I'd love to meet you.